Hey there, I'm Alan Matthews from Classical Guitar Shed, and in this video we're going to be talking about a way to make your sections connect more beautifully, especially in the way that we handle the slowing down at the end of sections, and where to put the retard. Oftentimes it's written at the very end, but if we put it somewhere else, it may be actually more effective and more musical, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. If you enjoy it, please do subscribe to this channel, and we'll do it some more. So normally where we see retards written, retard is a slowing down, is at the very end of a section. So here we have a section ending right here, right? We have a big repeat. This is the, just for your reference, this is the Allemande from box third cello suite. And so then there's a big A section, big B section. This is right at the very end of the A section. And so then this is a full page of music. This is at the bottom of the page. And then we start and do a whole nother bottom of the whole nother page. So first let's just, just, just hear it. And then it goes forward. Normally, at the end of a big section, what we want to do is like, whoo, slow down. And we want to do that right here. We want to slow down right at the very end like this. And that sounds like this. And that sounds great, except that if we take this repeat, we're going to then start over. We're going to start over at the top of the page again. And if we could go on, we're going to start, we're going to start at the second page. And so what we've just done is we've come to a stop that we then have to pick up from and start over somewhere. So instead of doing that, it makes it sound like the end of a piece. And we don't want it to sound like the end of a piece. We want to keep the interest moving forward through to the next piece. And so instead what we're going to do is to back up the retard and put it here instead. So not right at the end, but right before the end, get back up to tempo before we end and then make that transition, boom, right through at tempo. And so that makes the music continue, but we still get to have our retard, have our big moment. And this is, in Bach, it's really, this is really common because what we oftentimes have is we have the big cadence, which is right here. We finally get to E. And then we have what we can sometimes call like a spin out. And so we just go, blah, 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 and it kind of just restates, yes, this is the key we're in. So now let's listen to it with the, with the retard through here. I just do a wavy line for playing with time in general. So. Now I've got momentum. And we can just continue on. So then we get our big moment at this cadence instead of at the very final one. Let's take a look at the bottom of the next page. So this is the end, the end of the piece, the big B section, and it we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to put our retard here and then continue back at tempo here, make the loop, and then the last time we play it, then we can put it at the very end. But this is the, the first time that we played this. So what do we have here? And then, and because we just brought that back up to tempo, it's a little sloppy, but because we brought it back up to tempo, we can wrap into the beginning of the next section fully energized instead of having to grind it back up from zero. So one more time here. Here, and then back at tempo. And that gives us our loop. The last time though, the last time we can actually do the retard and it's going to sound more natural and it will really sound like the end of the piece. I'm really schmaltzing that up and overdoing it, but you get the picture. It sounds more like da 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 ba sounds very final and like the end instead of doing that four times and saying it's the end but wait it's not the end and it's the end but it's not the end and so you'll find this a lot in Bach but you'll also find it in just about any sort of um, 
music, any style of music, if you're going to put a retard at the end of a section, you can very times, very oftentimes find a really nice spot, a measure or two back into it and then get back up to speed before you loop it. Just to look at one more example, this is Adelita, Targa's Adelita, and he even writes it in. So here we have, and this is why I chose this, here we have a fermata right here at the end and then some different style of writing. So he actually writes it into the, the actual piece by the fermata because whenever we see a fermata, we always want to retard into fermatas anyway. So that's our cadence. I kind of was out of time there. Let me do that. And then we're back at tempo. And then we can loop. I didn't quite get that right, but whatever. So here we actually see it in, and this is some Spanish music. So whatever the type of music is, whenever we have a section ending, and this is a DC Alfine, meaning we go back to the beginning of the piece. So it's not the end of the piece. It's, it's the middle, it's the end of the middle section. So whenever we're going into a different section, not the very end, but whenever we're going to the, to, into another section, we can oftentimes back up the retard and make it more beautiful because then we can have our poignant moment but then keep that music moving and keep it exciting going forward as well. All right, I hope you have enjoyed this little foray into backing up the retard. If you have, then please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.